Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to set up pair world plugins on your Minecraft server so that you can enable different commands in separate worlds. As you can see here, I'm in one world and it won't let me do slash F, and if I go to another, you can see that it will allow me to do slash F. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that we need to do is go to the control panel, and you'll need to make sure that you have some sort of multi-world plugin installed, because if you don't already have multiple worlds, then this plugin isn't going to do much. You can learn how to set up the plugin Multiverse Core on our YouTube channel, and I will include a link to that tutorial in the description down below. So once you've got Multiverse Core set up, or another multi-world plugin of your choice, you need to make sure that you are running some different plugins, and that you have an idea of where you want them to go in separate worlds. So once you've got all that out of the way, Go to this link, there'll be a link to it in the description below, and then click download now. And then save it to your downloads folder. Then once it's downloaded, go back to the control panel, go to the file manager if you're not there already, go into the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files, and then select the .jar for pair world plugins, and then click upload from computer. Then once it's uploaded, restart your server. So before we go ahead and start configuring this plugin, I do want to go over a few things. It's not officially updated to 1.12, however I have tested it and it does work to a certain degree with most plugins. However, there are some errors that are outputted to the console, however they are usually harmless and don't usually mean anything. If you're concerned by any of them, by all means, feel free to contact our support and we'll be happy to take a look at them. Secondly, when we use this plugin in game, as it mentions here, we can't use slash reloads. So if you run into any issues, restart your server just in case you or someone else has reloaded it by accident. Now, other than that, I just wanted to point out those few things with this plugin. So let's go ahead and start configuring it. So once you've given your server a few moments to start up, click refresh and you should see a folder called Pair World Plugins appear. Once you see that, go into it and then there is a file in here called config.yml. So this config.yml file is quite simple. So as you can see, it lists all the plugins that are installed on the server. And then below each of these, we're able to configure which world they're enabled in. So if you see a plugin, for example, permissions X here, and it has brackets at the end, just like this with nothing in between them, that means this plugin is enabled on all of the worlds on our server. So let's say we had a world for factions and we wanted to make the factions plugin only work in the world called factions. So you would delete these brackets and then create a new line and then go up to the edge of where faction starts and put a dash. And then after the dash, we're going to put the world name, so factions. And then you can also do the same for massive core because factions is based on massive core, so you don't need massive core in any other worlds. So then let's say we also had a creative world and we only wanted world edit to work in the creative world. So you would just go ahead and do the same thing and let's put creative there. And then let's also do the same for essentials. So if we go ahead and do that, and then we'll leave the rest as like that. So essential spawn should work in all worlds. Essentials will only work in a creative world. World edit will only work in a creative world. And permissions X will work in all worlds. Multiverse core, if you're using that plugin, I do recommend allowing that to work in all worlds, obviously, because that is what allows your worlds to be there. And then massive core and factions should only work in a factions world. Now it is also worth noting, if you wanted essentials to also be in another world called, let's say, I don't know, kit PvP, you could just go ahead and list that there. And you can have as many worlds as you want underneath each plugin. There's no limit to the amount they can be enabled in. So that's how you set up pair world plugins basically. It's quite simple. The last thing you can change in this file is the block message. So if you're in a world and you try to run a command for a plugin that is not enabled in that world, this is the message that will be displayed. So it will say, error, this command cannot be performed in this world. So you can change this to be whatever you want. So if you wanted it to be in a different color as well, you could do that. So let's change it to a light blue and we'll put server pro PWP for pair world plugins. And then let's put the bracket there too. And then we'll put, um, you can't use this command here. And then once you've made all the changes you want to, click save and then restart your server. Remember, do not reload it as none of the plugins will work if you reload the server. So once you've given your server a few moments to start up, you can go ahead and join it. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and I believe I'm in the factions world. So let's just double check. So I am in the factions world. So if I type slash F, it should work. And then if I teleport to one of my normal worlds, for example, creative, and then if I type slash F in this world, it should no longer work. So let's just test that. And then as you can see, it says you can't use this command here with the modified message and it's now in a different color. So now because we're in this world, let's try using world edit as we configured it to work here. So if we type slash slash wand, you can see that it will work. And then if we quickly just go to the factions world again and just double check. And then as you can see, it shouldn't work if we type slash slash wand again. 
and as you can see it doesn't. So that's how you set up pair world plugins. Once you've set it up it's a good idea to go through each of your worlds and check that each plugin is working as it should. If you run into any problems again make sure you contact our support and make sure that you don't use the slash reload command as that will cause problems with the plugins. Other than that I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.